Hi, I'm Chris, and somewhere around here working hard is Barta. <laughs> Earlier this uh, week, I ended up getting the 8th inch collet that I ordered for the DeWalt 611 that's on the X Carve, and uh, that was kind of a good thing because um, the weather turned really crappy on Friday here. It started raining for actually the last couple days. Uh, that gave me plenty of time to mess around with the X Carve. Um, the I did a stencil, like kind of a reverse stencil design, um, and I kind of I've come to the conclusion that my limiting factor with the X Carve really is the software I'm using. Um, just getting easel to do what I want it to do is uh, it, it's getting uh, harder the more complex the the design is. Um, the time I spent in Atlanta, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm all crazy right now, uh, hopped up on medication. <laughs> um, so I haven't done an Atlanta video yet, but uh, <laughs> that will be coming out this week. I'll put it out on this channel along with uh, a sticker video because I can't put the amount of stickers I got from Atlanta, I can't put it at the end of this and still keep it under three minutes or right around three minutes. <laughs> so that'll be its own video. <laughs> With that, let's check out some useful stuff. This week's useful stuff is an end mill introduction article from Make Magazine. The article has a lot of great graphics to help you understand concepts like drill bits versus end mills, the tips and shapes and their applications, uh, flute and chip load, the different surfaces that'll get produced by uh, a bit. And at the end of the article, there's a recommendation on a starter set. So if you got a few minutes and you're interested in this, it's definitely worth the read. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.